Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to talk to you about egg retrieval day. Um, this is my first time and I've always been the girl who's kind of dreaded IVF and never thought that I would do it. So this day was kind of scary for me, but I made it and I'm doing good. But I'm just gonna kind of walk you through the day and um, my previous video was tips on how to prepare for egg retrieval. So if you haven't watched that, go ahead and watch it. Um, but this video will just be about the day of. So my mom, my sister, and my niece all came to spend the night the night before because they were going with me. So that was kind of fun and a distraction for the night before so I wasn't so nervous. And by the time we all went to bed, I was exhausted. So it wasn't like I stayed up super late worrying. Um, so that was super helpful. And then the morning of, we had to get up really early. And I woke up and I showered and got ready, which wasn't much of anything because I couldn't wear makeup. So I just kind of combed my hair and got dressed. I used non-scented soaps like I was told. Um, and then I wore my certain shirt. I had like an outfit already prepped and ready. And then I woke up and I, I woke up fairly early um, before my alarm. So I just kind of laid there and I prayed and then I turned on some worship music just to kind of get my mind right because I was honestly really scared. Um, I don't really know exactly what for. Maybe just being put under was the scariest part for me because I'd only been under one time previously and that was when I was a kid. Um, I mean, I think I was mostly scared that I knew I had to start progesterone and oil shots that night. So I just knew that that was in my near future at the same day, I was just panicking. But I listened to worship music, I prayed, and then when it was time to get up, um, I took a cute picture of my shirt, my necklace, and my socks that I was taking with me. And then, um, yeah, we left. Everyone was drinking coffee, which I told them that was okay. <laughs> it was really hard for me, and I was so thirsty. Fasting, no water or food in the morning is really hard when you're on like an eating and drinking schedule. So that was rough. Um, and the place we had to go to was about an hour or so away. And so we had quite a drive and we just kind of talked, listened to music. Um, they're all usually really good at making me laugh. So it distracted my mind a little bit. Um, then we get there and we had to sign some paperwork and then um, we we're just kind of hanging out in the lobby, in the waiting room, and then Brandon had to go do his part, which was really awkward, especially with my family being there. We didn't think that through. I didn't think that through. I felt really bad for him, but it was just really awkward. Um, but I'm really close with my family, so I enjoyed having them there. Um, and then we got taken to another waiting room, and my family got to go, and we were waiting for them to take me back. And then honestly, I don't even remember walking to the back anymore. Yes, I do. So we all went to this waiting room, all five of us. And then gosh, like 15 minutes later, they took me and Brandon back and they had him sit in a separate, another different waiting room. And they're like, okay, you're just gonna get dressed and or undressed and ready and then we'll get going. So in my head, I'm thinking, okay, so I'm gonna get undressed. But first of all, why can't my husband come back with me when I'm getting undressed? He's my husband, um, which was weird. And then they lay me down in the surgical room and I'm like, what the heck? I didn't get to say goodbye to Brandon. He doesn't get to come back here. And so I asked and she was like, no, we're, we, we're just gonna get started. <laughs> I was so sad, but I didn't really say anything yet. And then they put the IV in and they had to stick me twice because my dang, my dang, veins if you follow me on instagram you know all about that um it's miserable and then um all i remember is once he start putting started putting the medicine in i just remember saying i just feel so weird and that was it it's all i remember but apparently i started crying for brandon <laughs> so embarrassing i started crying for brandon so they they let him come back before they actually started and i guess i told him to take a picture of me and he gave me a kiss and then he went on his way and then they started. I don't remember that at all. I was thinking it might come back to my memory after a couple days, but I don't remember that at all. <laughs> yeah, and apparently I told um, the nurse about my whole program, my health program, 
and what I eat every day. <laughs> Whoa. So, yeah, super, super crazy. Being under and not remembering things, it's so weird. Um, and then I wake up, I'm in a completely different bed, a completely different room, and then I'm trying to recover and wake up all the way. And then I was feeling great for a minute. I was like, I feel good, I'm, I'm fine. But then I started to feel pain and then, um, yeah. And then the doctor came in and told us the number, which I only know now because I watched the videos of Brandon recording me. So I know what the doctor said for sure. Um, yeah, and then we got to go. It was super easy day for the most part. It wasn't that big of a deal. It was, but you know what I mean. Um, and then we left and we were in the car and I guess Brandon was recording me and they told me about how we got 19 eggs and then four were no good, they were just too small and I started bawling my eyes out. I'll show you guys a quick little clip of that and then you'll have to go jump onto my sister's channel. Her video links down below um, because she has all the footage that she's gonna use on her vlog because she vlogged more than I did that day. Um, I don't know how much, but I guess we'll find out. Let me turn the heater on at home. No. Should I be out or is it still in? It's, it's out. out. Okay, are you, and then you're just not dressed? Is everything disconnected? Yep. Nope. <laughs> no? Look at that. Let me see. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, we went home, or we stopped for coffee, and then we got, we went home, and then Brandon went and got me some french fries. And then I've just been chilling since then. I've, I felt decent the day of. Um, I did have pain, but then um, I wasn't terrible until yesterday, which was um, three days past egg retrieval. I was super sick. Um, I was still in a lot of pain, so it made me nervous, and then I was feeling super nauseous and no appetite, and I think that was from all the new meds I had to start, so just schedule yourself some time to rest if you can because you don't know how you're gonna feel um, I'm super lucky to work from home so I don't have to stress about a work schedule or anything I make my own schedule and I work from home I work from my phone um, so that was super easy for me but make sure if you do have a full-time job like at an office or somewhere to schedule yourself some time or let your boss know that you might be out for a few days because you just don't know how you're gonna react. Some people are fine, some people are really bad. <laughs> it's just, everyone is so different. Um, and yeah, I kept drinking Powerade and Gatorade. I kept myself hydrated. I kept eating a lot of protein, just like they said. Um, and I'm doing, today's the first day that I feel really good. And it's, wait, four days after retrieval? What's today, Tuesday? Oh, today's three days, so I was feeling really bad two days after. Man, my memory. But um, yeah, that was my egg retrieval experience. It was not bad at all, and I'm so happy and thankful that we, were, we are lucky enough to be able to do this. Um, I never thought this would ever be possible for us, so. Yeah, I'm waiting to hear from my doctor today to let me know how our embryos are doing. Ugh, so excited. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for joining along our journey. It means the world to us that you all take the time to watch and support us and all of that. Um, I will leave my sister's video down below. It's the vlog version of my egg retrieval. So make sure to go watch that and let her know that I sent you. Comment down on her video and let her know that I sent you. Um, and then, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.